Hey, watch the great video, motivational video. I'll put the link below, you have to watch it. It's less than a minute and a half, so it won't take up a lot of your time. So, he was talking about failure, and he gave a bunch of examples, and you can watch it after this. Uh, but he talked about like Michael Jordan when he wasn't, uh, he didn't make it into the high school team and he went home crying and then uh, I think the Beatles were given like negative feedback and saying that the music wasn't good or something like that and then um, I think it was like, Walt Disney who um, didn't get a job or was fired because of lack of creativity and stuff like that. So it's people that went on to amazing, incredible things and being the best in what they do that started out with what many might call a failure um, but I think it's fascinating I think it's I think failure is really really fascinating I've always been afraid terrified of, of, of failing right and now I've been able to embrace it more to actually say okay maybe it's not such a bad thing after all right Maybe it's only lessons instead of me seeing it as a, as a negative thing and as a failure. Maybe it's actually just beautiful lessons that are waiting for me to kind of like grab the little gold hiding in that lesson and move forward with that new insight, that new wisdom, right? That, that new knowledge, that new information. So what if it's actually, I love that acronym that is, uh, so fail, it was like first attempt in learning, right? So, the first time you might fail because you're actually going through the process of learning. It's that, that first round of learning, right? Then you try it again. And maybe you might fail, who knows? But maybe you get a little better, you get a little closer, and you're actually able to grow through the process, right? I think many of us are so afraid of failure and many of us are actually afraid of success but that's a whole another topic for another video um, but we're so afraid of failure that we don't take risks right that that's one of the things that appear at the end of the video life is equal risks um, and I think that's the beauty in life to actually make maybe quote-unquote mistakes, right? I don't know, think of maybe how boring life might be if everything was perfect, everything was nice, and, and you didn't go through many, sometimes maybe some ups and downs, and right? If failure is a down and success is a, an up, like you can't have an up without a down, and light, right? The peak of the mountain, and then there's the valley, and then there's another peak, and you can't have hot without cold, cold without hot right um, yin and yang baby so failure and success maybe they go together maybe they're more related than we realize and maybe if we were not so afraid of it and we didn't call it or maybe we didn't refer to it as such a negative thing we might improve our relationship to it so much I've been kind of like embracing failure and saying okay maybe I'll put myself myself out there more because no matter what happens, I'm going to learn through the process. One of the reasons why I started making videos a while ago, it was I actually kind of wanted to learn more about myself and my fears and that, that feeling of just being terrified to, to put myself out there and, and to make videos and stuff like that. And I think If I hadn't stepped into that fear, if I hadn't walked outside of my comfort zone, right? If I hadn't left that box, that person, that, that, the, the person that was saying like, no, you shouldn't go out, you, you have to stay here. My fear was holding me there. I felt chained to that fear, right? If I never would have taken the risk and moved forward to, to see like, okay, maybe I'll fail, but maybe... I'll start heading in the direction of my dreams. Maybe I'll, I'll start heading in the path that I'm destined to go to, right? Maybe by me, like they say, when you try to reach a goal, it's not about getting that goal. It's about the person you become while you're in the process of reaching that goal, right? You might need to make some changes. You might need to 
look at things that you were ignoring, right? And it doesn't mean that we need to change, right? Or, or improve. That kind of says that you're not good enough and that you're messed up. But it's about bringing out those beautiful things in us. And I think failure, if you, if you look at it the right way, if you accept it the right way, if you actually appreciate the experience of failure, which is not easy, I know, it's not easy. But if you actually appreciate that experience, right, and you pull out of it those beautiful lessons that are just waiting for you, waiting for you to grab them, right? Oh, baby, that can be such a gift for you and for the people that you serve, right? I wouldn't be able to serve others if I never stepped into that fear, if I never walked out of my comfort zone, walked out of that box that I was hiding in, right? I would never be able to, to help others, right? I, I, I wouldn't have become the coach that I am today, right? And maybe you, you wouldn't have become the person that you are today or the person that you're trying to become. Um, I think if you can embrace failure a little bit, right? I don't have any secrets. I don't have the seven steps to be immune to failure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going through this journey myself and I, I, I'll be sharing more about what's helped me in the journey. But I think ah, it's like that quote, the cave you fear to enter has a treasure you seek. And one of the ways that I interpret, interpret that quote is that walking into those fears, right? We're afraid to go into that cave. We're afraid to go in the direction of our dream. But once we step into that cave, once we start walking in that direction, then that treasure will be revealed. That treasure will come to you. And, and that treasure, in my opinion, is way greater than what we imagine it will be. I think it will be wider and, and, and will encompass more areas of your life and more fulfillment and happiness and just beautiful things that you never might have imagined that were there so maybe something that I shared might inspire you inspire you to uh, to walk into that fear to walk into that cave to embrace failure and to just start walking your path right you don't need to know exactly where you're gonna go you don't need because that brings up the fear of failure you don't need to know exactly where you're gonna go you just need to know okay I think I want to go in that direction right and what's that quote I forget now the, the the journey a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step so I do think if we take it one step at a time then maybe we're not obsessing on the end goal so much that fear starts to creep in so I really hope that helps. I really, really, really hope that helps. I might be making more videos about this. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want more videos about. A lot more comments. So subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I think I'm going to make more videos about this. I really like these topics. So, And they're very... I can relate to them because I've been terrified of failure. So fear and all those things I think are fascinating. So I'll make more videos. So thank you for watching. I hope... I hope it was helpful. I really do. And have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching again. Have a good one.